who is the current president of the Yankland. There you go. I'll say Anthony Hopkins. Anthony fucking. <laughs> well, it's time for another app review. So I'm starting that again. I don't want to have to edit that shy down. I'm going to do it straight on the grass because we're on the grass to die anyway. Two little brown hairy testicles in a puddle of pops. Oh god. <laughs> this is shit. I said I'm sorry. I just wanted to come back to it and show you it's actually reached the stage the entire pan's burning. Well, hello, I'm back for another app review, and this time we're going to be reviewing Julie Chatbot. So here we go. Again, I'll confess, this is the second time that I've opened this. So this is the screen you get it's about Julie. Jason, just the computer. Screenshot that, pause the video if you want to read all that rubbish. But there's your info. Uh, I can't remember. Think who it's. Julie voice on. Temperature unit in Celsius. Animated response on. We'll do all that. Uh, I don't know what that button in the bottom left did. Uh, appears to be taking us to the Play Store. Uh, what? Tapify? Don't know what that is. Right, this is where we start chatting. Chuck a 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 the chuck. I'm diabetic. Well, it's that time again where we review some chocolate. And today on chuck a chuck a chuck a chuck a, I have got something that I thought didn't exist anymore. Look at that. A lion bar. From Nestle. Um, not the biggest fan of Nestle. I think they're a bit of a scuzzy corporation. But that's just my personal personal belief. Um, we're going to have to work out. Before we begin. Chocka 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 chocka. We've got to work out the uh, leaderboard and the scale. Now I'm a bit worried about this. I got this from B&M Bargains. Can you see they've stuck a new label over the old one? The hell is that all about? Frightening. Um, and I'm not going to do my ultra fast reading out of ingredients because I can't be asked, frankly. Uh, 202 calories in this. Um, so I've got to work out the um, scoring um, tally for this. So actually, I'm going <laughs> to have cut already and I'll get myself a pad and paper. And we're back. We've got the old uh, pencil and paper ready. So, Lion Bar. First criteria, artwork. Look at the lion. I get you. Fucking. Don't even look real. But there we go, lion bar. Fucking hell. Right, and sorry about the light. Oi. Right, I won't stay up. It's going to have to do with that. Sorry about the lighting. I've just remembered. It's actually a double feature today. Because, as you will find out in the price round, this is also going to be featured in... What can you buy for 50p? Bugger all. Well, it turns out you can buy a few things. So, number one is artwork on the Lion Bar. It's kind of like a, a bonfire colour, like fires going on. Um... Worrying sticker on the back. The artwork's okay, but it's not exactly eye-catching, in my opinion. So, on 10, I'm going to give that. I think it's a 7. It's not bad at all. 7 out of 10. Okay, the price. Well, it's going to be less than 50p, in it? Because it's a double feature today. So, the price, 29 pence from B&M Bargains. You cannot moan at that, boys and girls. Oh, dear. How to sound like a pedo. Um, right, then. <laughs> I just realised the uh, uh, disgraced entertainer uh, Jimmy Savile used to say, boys and girls, I shall not be doing that again. I shall say, 
ladies, gentlemen, my lords, and others. So, my bar has got a worrying hole in the packet, I've just noticed, actually. And I'm on camera, hey! Sorry, uh, I think I've just had a stroke. Act fast! Now then, price, 29p. How much is that? 9 out of 10. Can't mind, 29p for a chocolate bar. Like a proper chocolate bar as well, not like some rubbish. Uh, the date, so what's the date on it? We have got this 7th, uh, so not the 7th of July, July is the 7th month, 2018. Don't know if you can see that. So, on t uh, date, I'm going to give that a solid... I've got until July, it's now April, it was March when I brought it. April, May, June, July, four months. So it's only a 6 out of 10 for me. And finally, out of 20 points, we've come to the taste. Now, what does it look like? Uh, looks like a little turd. Someone's eaten a few a bit too much porridge and gone for a rather nasty and painful looking shite. Right, give it a crack. Here we go. Well, I can't score it too highly because... I don't like fucking chocolate, but bearing that in mind, it's very mild flavour for me, a bit peanutty. Also, it's got a rice crispy or two in, can taste a bit of caramel. Have one more little bite. Christ, imagine shitting that out. It's like a wafer on the bottom, there. Sweet. I hate to say it, Nashley. Pretty nice, actually. My mother was a big fan of these. Well, sorry about the correction fluid that's on my uh, on my hand. I've been doing some uh, correcting. Um. Yeah, that is nice. What can I say? Taste. I like that a lot. Sixteen out of twenty. Perfect. Right then, where the hell was I? Oh yeah, it's that. See you in a bit. Or not, because we didn't go to the leaderboard. So, here's the leaderboard now. Well, as you can see, Lion Bar cruises into the lead first position with a total of 38 out of 50. In review, the artwork, 7 on 10. Price, 9 on 10. Date, just a lowly 6 on 10, but the taste was a big, big score. 16 out of 20. Fulfilling the total of 38 out of 50, cruising into a strong first position. Laying down the bar. The Lion Bar. Well, there's only one item on the leaderboard thus far, and that's going to take some beating, ladies and gentlemen, and others. So, um, yeah, there we go. It's a Lion Bar by Nestle. It's 38 out of 50. That is a benchmark that all others must come against. Anyway, thank you very much. We will get back to it. See you soon. Right, this is where we start chatting. So, here we go. Am I ready for the weekend? Oh, no, I'm going to have to do it via text again. Because when I've got the audio recording on my phone, it won't allow me to record anything else like an audio thing uh yes are you well okay hmm i don't know what that meant to be honest with you so let's try something pretty basic how old are you I'm less than one year old. An impressive vocabulary then, haven't you? Uh, so let's say, where are you? I'm right here. Fucking. No. 
not quite what I had in mind. Um, what? What's your favourite TV show? I always loved everything that means art. Yeah, window licking. <laughs> um. <laughs> Who is the current president of the Yankland? There you go. I'll say Anthony Hopkins. Anthony fucking. <laughs> hey, what? Who is on? Who is what? Hannibal Lecter. Who wrote to kill a mockingbird? Mockingbird. Everybody should know that. Was it Christian Bale? Certainly fucking wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, it's too much. Open a Kinder Egg. Well, here we are again. We're going to open another Kinder Joy. Not banned in America, as I said in the last one. Give you another quick look. There it is, Kinder Joy. Get that on camera for you. Uh, there's all your gump on the back. You open it up, and it's displaying two halves. These do They're not like the traditional ones where you'd have a chocolate egg and inside was a little capsule, but they're not that easy to open up. So there we go. Now then, this side is the chocolate side. I already know that because I opened one in my previous video. Uh, it's like Ferrero Rocher chocolate. It looks like two little brown hairy testicles in a puddle of pus. That's what it looks like. So, two little round hairy testicles in a puddle of pus. But, and that part there is your little ice cream scoop, as I call it. Oh, fucking hell, it's broke. Right, you get a little scoop with it, and look. Trademark Kinder. Kinder. Pronounced kinder. Also, though, kinder. Kinder. So that's really pronounced anyway. But anyway, so this is where the magic really happens because you get a toy inside this off, as we all know. And I can't wait to see what joys lurk within. Here we go, load of shit. They usually are. Let's have a look at this then. What did I get? Oh, Trey. It's gone everywhere. Well, there's four yellow bits of plastic. Um. Not looking very good, to be honest. Right, what the hell's going on here? Get rid of that rubbish. Right then. Well, I think. Hey, oh, we've got some stickers here. Aha! So I think I get the choice of making. Oh dear. This is rubbish. Look, I get some stickers. Look. Shit. And um, these are the destructions. Shit. And there's a nice little picture of an African savannah. Shit. Now, um, I'm going to actually come back to you once I've figured out what to do and how to make it. I'll see you shortly. <sighs> there you see it. It's done. It's made. So let me show, hold it up for you. So it's that one side. It's that the other. And the cool little thing about it is that you can spin the top so we can have a crocodile's head or we can have a 
Well, the crocodile's head as well, I think. Oh no, that's a snake, sorry. Snake's head. Crocodile's head. So you've got the crocodile's head on, you want the uh, crocodile's tail. But if you've got the uh, snake's head on, you want the uh, snake's tail, don't you? Fuck you know. This is. Uh, I keep saying it's rubbish. The sticker's really high quality because you have to stick the stickers onto it. Uh, the plastic's really nicely made, it fits together snugly. Um, on the other side, you've got a cat. Oh, God. A cat with a cat's tail. Or you've got. Oh, it's a bit shiny. Or you've got. I think it's another crocodile thing. So, of course, you need a crocodile tail. Uh, yeah. But the thing is, just ask yourself how long is that going to entertain for? You know. I can think of many things you can do on your own, which are a lot more fun than this. Was it Christian Bale? Certainly fucking wasn't. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's too much. Oh, jokes. Let's try jokes. Tell me a joke. Oh, I don't know jokes. The jokes are garbage. I wanted you to give me a joke. Jokes. Tell you a joke. Uh, why? Tell me a joke. Why are chefs so mean? I don't know. They beat eggs and whipped cream. Right. That's the only thing you've said that's not funny. Jesus Christ. Let's play a game. Do you want to play the, would you rather, game? Not really, but go on then. Yes. Say stop when you want to quit playing. Right. One or two, depending on what you choose. Would you rather always have to skip everywhere or run everywhere? One. Really? That's weird, Johnny. Would you rather get caught singing in the mirror or spying on your crush? Right, I'm not as weird as you. Let's just get that together. Would you rather get caught singing in the mirror or spying on your crush? I don't fucking care. Two. I would choose one for sure. Would you rather be poor and find true love or be rich? The real answer is one, but I'm going to choose two, hopefully to annoy Totally you. agree. Would you rather be completely oh. alone for five years and never alone for five years? You're a bit of a bastard. Um, Would you rather be completely alone for five years or never alone for five years? Uh, One, if it means I don't have to talk to you. I agree with that. Would you rather surf in shark-infested waters or jump free fall with a parachute into the Grand Canyon? <laughs> well, to surf in shark-infested waters, you're a bit of a knob. So I would to... choose the other one. You're a fucking would you idiot. rather be a character in the movie Gone with the Wind or the Wizard of Oz? I don't care. Three. You need to answer with one, two, or stop. I think stop then. Another one. Yes. Why did the boy tiptoe past the medicine cabinet? I don't... I don't... care. He didn't want to wait the sleeping pills. I ain't sick. Stickers. Yes, yes, yes. Here we are. We're going to be doing um, a sticker album. I've um, done one of these since 1994, believe it or not. When I was just 12 years old, I did the Premier League 94 sticker collection by Panini. Never completed it. Um, which was a ball ache because I had about 600 bastard stickers left over at the end, all doubles. 
Yeah, and there was no eBay back then. You just had to deal with it. You go into school, you know, in between getting bullied, you've got to try and uh, get some swapsies going on with your stickers. Wankers they were, all of them. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, I want a popular kid. about 600 stickers. Gave them away in the end. Still better than getting beat up. Now then, um, so yeah, I think... I think my doubles are going to be going on eBay, and again, a bit of an a cappella version of this, because, uh, as you can tell, we're back on the old phone, and I'm waiting for a new tripod to uh, to arrive. And furthermore, I'm going to give you the briefest shot of outside through this window, because, frankly, it's supposed to be April. It's supposed to be spring in England, but it's not even fucking getting light today. So we've had to go a bit weird with the light in here because usually I like to try and use the natural light from the window. It don't help that I've got an advertising board in the window as well because I'm going to have to move soon and the landlord wants to relet the place. Oh well. So we're going for this sort of lighting and because I'm using the mobile phone and we're going tripod free, I'm going to show you both sides of this and talk about it. Then I'm going to open it off camera. Then I'm going to show you get the idea. I'll do some scans as well and add them in so you can see what I'm doing. So yes, okay, so this is the front. As you can see, it's official licensed sticker album. Official licensed sticker collection by Panini 2018 FIFA World Cup. Russia. Controversial. Because Russia is a bit controversial. I, I don't mind Russia at all. I don't like the gay laws. No need for that. Nothing wrong with being gay or, or anything. Whoever you are is whoever you are. And be bloody proud of it. So I don't like that. But the rest of it, I do like. I don't think they do anything particularly bad. Got to be better than America at the minute, ain't it? Ain't it? Well, no. Not the people. The government, though. Fucking certainly. Uh, the American people are lovely. It's the government that lets you down. Much like the British. This has gone off on a tangent, hasn't it? Anyway, Russia... 2018 album plus 31 stickers. Now we work. I worked this out. These are your little packs that you get here. You can see it, and you get five stickers in a pack, and they're 80 pence each. So if I was to buy those five packs which are in there, that would cost me four pounds. Now inside here, as advertised, there's 31 stickers, not 25, which means I'm getting six stickers for free. And the album. Now what I could do is instead of just buying packs of stickers, I could just buy the albums and get more and then perhaps sell the albums on for 50 pence each or something. Save someone some money. I mean, they ain't thought that through, have they? Got, got need. Is that a heroin addict slogan? Got, got need, man. I need some, bro. You got any brown? So yeah, there's all your countries. Yeah, that's it really. So let's have a quick look on the back. Like I say, we're going a cappella with this one. Uh, um, there you see, there's the price. three ninety nine sticker collection. 31 stickers, 5 packets. What's that reading say? FIFA licensed product and all that bollocks. That's the official... Some sort of hologram business going on. Oh, oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. I do like that. Hey. Right then. That's the back. I'll just show you the old thing there. Got, got need. Bran, man, bran. And I'm going to open it. So I'll be back with you when it's open. I'll, and, uh, yeah, there we go. Lovely. And it's open. It is open. It's a lovely sort of embossed feel. On the outside, and that lovely smell of a new, of a new, uh, oh yes. Do you remember when you used to have book club at school, hey? You used to have book club, and you, oh look, there's my free. God, it smells lovely, I love that, it's like, technically drug abuse maybe. Oh, it smells really nice. Right, there's two stickers there. Right, sorry, I'm that busy sniffing it, I'm not showing it yet. That's not a euphemism. Um, right, what's what's that? We've got Antoine Griezmann there. 
Is that a prison picture? And then we've got Eric Dier. Dyer. 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 Not Dyer. Sure, I don't know what his name is. And it's written there. So, and this is the opening page. So I'm going to have to do this fairly quickly. Because I don't, you're going to get bored, frankly. Uh, that's all the winners. England in 66. Yeah, we'll never win it again. Ever. That's a quote. You, your name and... <laughs> right, that bit, you can put yourself in it. It's my panini, not yours, mine. And that's where sticker number one goes. Don't know what it'll be. So, yeah, that's your first page. And I've been bastard robbed. Because it said 31 and I've counted 27 so far. So where's my other stickers? Let's cut to the middle. No, not there. Ah... And here's the other ones. So these are... Oh, I'll turn it this way for you. These ones are... Uh, Mille, Mile, Mile Jedinak, Son Hungmin, Alexander, spelt wrong, Cockerin, Cockerin, not a euphemism, and Sadio... Main, and he doesn't even know where the camera is. That alone smiled. He looks as though he's just been arrested. He looks confused. That's why aren't they smiling? I don't know how he looks. Sort of like he's holding a fart back, maybe. I don't know why they're not smiling. Come on, lads, you're in a sticker book. Well, there you go. So that's that. Uh, so you, I'll just show you a team at random. Uh, Japan. And you got your stickers going. There. A group H, that's their something. Uh, I don't know if you're getting the general impression, but I don't follow football. I think it's a shower of shit. Um... So that's it, that's my sticker book. I don't know why I've done that. I, I just fancied doing a sticker book, to be honest. And I thought I'd share the glory with you. I'm trying to get it all in. I'm doing this all a cappello. Uh, manually, as it were. Uh, hmm. Masato Morishiga. There you go. So there's my stickers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open all these packs, put them in a pile, and then come back and show you. Right then, see you shortly. Right, that is as bad as it gets, that is, um, I'm just going to start insulting it, because you might as well, you're ugly. I know many more, do you want to hear more? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care, you're thick then, you're... Thick. I don't get if that is yes or no. It's neither. I'm trying to insult you. You're too stupid to know it. Right, I think we've had enough of this. So you've got the... Um, let's try weather info first. How's the weather in? Just answer yes or no. I ain't doing what you tell me. <laughs> Right, well, that's my r video review of, um, oh, it's that bad, I can't remember what it's called, Julie Chatbot. Um, I'm absolutely certain I want to quit, and I shall be deleting that very soon. So that's um, a solid one out of five. Well done, Julie Chatbot. Uh, it's up to you if you want to get that, but um, I think I've made it fairly clear what I thought of it. Um and sometimes I am very critical of these reviews, and I want to know that I'm not saying I could do a better job than that on this. I'm just saying that as someone who they're hoping will use it and make some money off it, I mean, come on, it's rubbish. So there you go. Um, it's about as good as something I'd make, actually, which is just completely useless. So 
So there we go. So that's my review of Julie Chatbot. One star from five. Enjoy your day and whatever you choose to do with it. Or the rest of it. Or your evening or whatever it is. Whoever you are. Wherever you are. And um, I will see you on the next one. Take care. And goodbye.